Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy JM8686. It's new video in here. Today, I will gonna try to show you guys how to um, see if your uh, rotor housings are still good. The, uh, not the housings, the irons, my bad. The iron. These ones are from a 13B Renesis from my RX8. Uh, four port. Y4 port, you can see in here. There's only two ports in here. When this is the six, only has another one extra in here. The same on this side right here. Okay, so first step. So how are you gonna check if your irons are still good or not? It's gonna see. Well, first of all, what we need, it's gonna be need. It was gonna be a straight edge or a ruler on a filler gauge. The filler gauge. Let's try to use the millimeter millimeters one. Cause uh, it's two size, you know, two uh, ways to measure this. this is the in the little uh, inches on um, the millimeters. So what we're gonna use this one and this one, and then the first thing you're gonna do, we're gonna clean your rotor iron, your iron. You're gonna clean it. Either just screwing some guys on it, or with the scratch bright. These ones are not too dirty because I previously kind of washed them on the hot tank pressure machine. Squirt some gas on it, a carburetor cleaner, whatever we have handling, the greaser. Wipe this thing off. Now the other one, wipe it off. If you're gonna have to scrub it like really, really tight, make sure you try to look for any wire or anything of normal. Like this one in here, see the, the face? You're gonna look for grooves. You're gonna look for any corrosion. You're gonna look for any water damage. You're gonna see all. You're gonna see those type of lines, but they're under. And then the only way you can pass your thumb, your thumbnail, you're gonna have to pass it between and see if it gets stuck. This one is not getting stuck anywhere, so it has no heavy grooves. Even though it seems like another markings, but they're under. It's nothing like little waves or anything. It's no grooves, nothing. So then this one is good. This one could be reusable. So like, if we check this middle iron, so we can give them a thumb up. This one is clean, it can be reused. You can either lap it or, lap it or uh, resurface, but it's only gonna be total awareness on this one is zero, uh, 0 0.004, which is uh, four millimeters. I have the filler right here. I'm gonna show you how to check with the ruler. But most likely it's gonna be lapping. If you're not gonna lap it, just make sure it has no grooves, anything. If not, I'm mainly on the hot spot. The hot spot on these ones is 3 p.m., which should be like something around this is 12, 1, 2, 3, which is gonna be this side right here. This is the hot spot, holder, hot. And now let's move to the other iron. This one is the middle one. This one is gonna be the the back one, the rear one. This is again four port from the RX-8. You're gonna see this one, it was sitting for a long time and they had water inside same we have same markings you're always gonna see these markings in here don't worry about it this is it's again this is under that's not nothing where but if you look closely and then after um cleaning and scrubbing with scotch bright you're gonna see some some corrosion in here this one is already kind of bad it can be lap or maybe sand it down or resurface so that can go away remember only 0 0.04 0 .004, and then this is the heavy groups once you see this thing right here like this iron this one is trash at first everything seemed good, I cleaned it only by hand and then some um, degreaser or gas on the rack, but after I scrubbed with the scotch bright, this is the damage. And this is caused by water, because this iron was heating with the water inside, so this one is trash. So this one is going to the recycle, or maybe mess with it so we can try to learn how to do the um, drill some bigger holes so you can start it. And do start or maybe you can practice doing some bridge on it some parting on it but yeah this one is it could either be a guinea pig or 
centerpiece for someone or whatever if someone needs it if someone wants to mess with it let me know all they have to do is pay for shipping yeah the rear iron from uh, 2004 2003 2008 rx8 13b so that one is trash this one is good okay now the way we're gonna check the if it still works we're gonna let me try to set this up right here I'm gonna have to pause it let me bring a tripod because I had to use both hands to use the ruler a straight edge and the filler gauge I'll be back okay and we are back I have my cell phone here let me try to zoom in hopefully I don't drop the cell phone it's a little tripod okay now you're gonna get your straight edge it's gonna go four ways it's gonna be one it's gonna be two three and four okay since I already have the camera set there we're gonna start all the way on the left it's gonna be around here right there let me show you where it's standing. See it in right me, like around, like around there. Between, between those two ja water jackets edge. So it's there, let me set the cell phone in here. So again, it's gonna have to be 0 0.004, which is four millimeters. I already have the filler gauge right here. Uh, this one is already worn out, so you cannot see the numbers. But I try to get the millimeter one. So set it in there, put the ruler in here. If it goes through this, this four millimeters, this is your maximum um, awareness. If it goes through, it's, it's still re reusable. If you try the five and it goes in, uh, they already has to be done or they're already trash. But four after lapping or resurfacing, four is your maximum. So if four won't go in, you're still good. I won't go in. We're good. Move to the next one. Same as straight edge. Your filler. It won't go in. So we're good. And now we're gonna move to the next step. Go sideways. Same way. We try to move a cell phone here. Straight edge is flat. Yeah. Nothing there, so we're still good. Let's see, filler gauge. So, this one is between specifications. So, this iron is reusable, we're still good. The four won't go in. So, there's one side. We're gonna try to flip around, Let's turn this one up, and this one right here between the water jacket, water jacket, or water jacket between like here and here on the flat part on there grab your good filler gauge again we're still good ow so yeah this is how you check your your irons. So this one is fine. Good. Let's try to go with the smaller one. I remember this is the four. So if you go on the first blade, this one is the thickest one. We'll move this one out. There's one. There's two. One, two, three, four. So those are four. And let's see how thin this one is. Super thin. There's the other one. And number four. We're gonna try the, the thinnest one. Oh, this one has the numbers here too. Zero point zero twenty-two. So it starts here. Zero zero one, zero zero two, zero zero three, zero zero four. Let's try this one out. This one is the thinnest one. 
You see, not even this one goes in. Let me see if I can try to move this up. I'm sure the phone is gonna die. Let's try it right there. There you go. This one is the thinnest one. See, not even this one goes in. So this iron is a virgin. So this one is ready to go. This is some little lapping and you're good to go. If you happen to have any iron like this one, you can even resurface it. Make sure as long as the uh, point zero zero four goes through, but not the five. As long as the, the uh, tolerance is on the four, you're still good to go. You can resurface, but you don't. You're not supposed to take that much material off. But of course, resurfacing with this one, you're gonna have to re nitrite. And I usually, like my plates, they charge me by pound. So if I take that one and the other one, usually for three irons, I'll be paying maybe like 110, 115 bucks. But I mean, the deepness, I goes like uh, 008, 007, it goes deep that much. So yeah, this one is good. That's how you check the irons. Visually, on the right way with the straight edge and the filler gauge well yeah stay tuned comment like subscribe if you're new around here uh, consider subscribing this is how to check the tolerance how to check if your irons are good uh, we'll be making another one on your how to assemble uh, how to assemble the rotors how to see the tolerance on it uh, the filler gauge straight edge how to uh, file down the uh, side seals how to clean well we made one how to clean the apex seal groups yeah stay tuned thank you for watching